Thank you for clicking play. This is PK from the PK Comic Book 411. Here's the DC bit. Yeah, what does DC stand for? Direct Comics? Detective Comics? I believe so. Interesting, let's stop. If you've seen my uh, first and second video, this is the third out of four, hopefully. You can see the difference in the business model here. There's less titles than the Marvel bed, but they're higher stacks. Um, interesting, is it not? DC v Marvel stuff. We'll start over here with the single people. I just started with Sinestro. Um, that's uh, only with five. I got a Harley Quinn zero there. Grayson, I started picking up this Grayson because of this particular one, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, Tim Seeley, but it was really Tom King that got me that was the writer of this guy. All right, so moving on. Uh, I'm an Aquaman fan. I, I, there was a heated discussion on the uh, Marvel and DC Unite Facebook group. Check that out. It's a good group. I really do uh, give that a shout out. Um, again, can I ask you, what do you do with the damn annuals? See the annuals here on these guys going, could someone comment straight off the bat and just tell me? What, how, do you, how do you put them in there? Do you put them on the 13th month? All right, so, got to be careful with this light here. Uh, we got Aquaman 0 all the way up to 34. A couple of Hawkwards here, Savage Hawkman. I should have got into that more. He seems to be a pivotal guy now in the future's end. Uh, check that out, Super Friends. Oh, my God. Number 23. A couple of Adventures of Superman here. I'm not really a Superman fan. However, I did like this particular title. Now, it's a Scott Snyder title, and it went from 1 to 8, and I believe that's the end of it. Um, but that one seemed like a really cool one. It took a long time for him to get that out, but at least he didn't put out garbage. Check these out for you. Pull these out. Look at that. That's a, the Romita Jr. coming back in. That's a 32. And check this guy out. No, that's pretty... Huh. You know what I mean? It's good to see those two things next to each other. Which number is this? 301. Now we got Action Comics. Check out... Dude, that's really... That's pretty dang cool. There's many, many years. Look how beat up that guy is. Number 458. Probably worth $2. Uh, moving on. I love this Batman Superman thing. I was uh, taught who this Jay Lee guy was. Remember, I'm sort of a newbie here. And Batman Superman has gone up to 14. Really picked up steam. Again, what do I do with this annual? Uh, Earth 2 now is a very big part. I mean, God, I can't tell you. The first four were just atrocious. And I just kept with it just because I'm a persistent mofo, right? And now it's a very big thing. Look how big stock this is, man. What is that? 26? And that all has to do with Future's End now, which is, so, you know, it's such a cool thing that if you just see five years from now, uh, like, let's go of all the retcon. You're brand new, just like everyone else. I really like that. Up to 22, and these are weekly now, okay? And then they put out these lenticular guys, 3D lenticular things. Probably can't see that through the light. But each, t each like, title has one. My God. And, I, you know, I just sort of picked them up and then said, get me all of them. There's a lot of titles there, right? Jeez, look at all that. Aquaman, Harley Quinn, Booster Gold was a good one. But I tell you, people, out of all of these, that Grayson one by Tom King, that's good by standalone standards or any comic standards. Who cares if it's DC or Marvel or Image? I mean, that that's a really good one. Can't speak highly enough of that. Another good one was Booster Gold and Green Lantern. And everybody, this, just so you know about my... This means I read it, right? All the ones like this mean I haven't read it. That's sort of my way of saying I didn't seal it, therefore I didn't read it. So everything that's sealed I've read. It's important to me to figure out that. Those are 52 of the damn Villains Month, and I still haven't read it. It's like a year old, more than a year old. I didn't know some of them have something to do with the stories. Some of them just have things to do with uh, the origin stories, but it's it still hasn't been read after a year. Vibe, 1 through 10, I really like it. Cisco Ramon, like I said before in the previous video, that's also in uh, CW's Arrow and, um, geez, I'm not in Gotham, no, 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 but Arrow and Flash. Finest Day I already showed you, that's going to keep going into events. For re Forever Evil, 1 through 7, took forever to get 7 out. Um, that's That comes after Trinity War, and then you have the Aftermath here. Out of all the um, 
spinoffs here. I'd say Argus with uh, Steve, which, yeah, Trevor, and um, Killer Frost Girls, whatever. What a great dynamic. Really liked it. And the Rogue's Rebellion really let me know what uh, those guys are about. It's almost like the villain, villains turn into good guys. A couple last ones here for you. We got a Flash 349. Is that worth anything? Got an annual. And I actually just started uh, getting a couple of these flashes because Robert Venditti, which is my guy over at Valiant that I like so much, started writing for this. Uh, Batman Detective 463 right there. Huh. Huh. Joker's daughter. A couple of Batmans are interested in before. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let, me, let me finish off. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. This is showing me that I made a blaring mistake of selling one through three when uh, Dark Knight first came out. As if I needed the money, man. I'd rather have the complete set. God damn it, that's the Frank Miller. Uh, Spawn, Batman. Batman, Spawn. All worth it. Graham Morrison's over in the corner because he's doing these one-shot multiversity things. Got a couple of darks here to uh, tie into uh, Forever Evil. That's just the dark. And apparently I started going with Justice League at 14. Um, right now it's over at 34. So 14 through 34 is here. Um, and Justice League of America. Look at this old one right here. That's uh, number 170. Then it goes to Justice League of America 1 through 14, which is now turned into Justice League United 0 through 4 is what I got here. Got uh, the new Suicide Squad 1 and 2, a couple of uh, Huntress and uh, Power Girl World's Finest to tie us into First Contact that actually came over from Batman, uh, Superman over there. And I love origin stories because I'm new to comics, so this is 1 through 5 of Secret Origins. Okay, how about that? DC Universe. Look at all those lenticulars I have yet to read. God dang it. Interesting business model. And actually now they have Earth 2 World's End that is weekly. Check it out. Thank you for clicking play.